Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I've made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you're interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, or actually be yourself a developer, why not? Subscribe to the channel, man. I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case most of the videos now. But I respect your decision, not let you decide, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to customize the sold out badge on the product cards on your Shopify store. And I mean the sold out badge that shows up on the product picture on the product cards, either on the homepage or collection page. You can actually customize that, the color, the shape, the text, color, everything in this video. And we will do that, of course, by using our own custom code that will do the trick for us. So if you want to change the text color or the background color or change the shape of the badge, this video will help you out. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have here down team, which is the one I do all the demonstrations on in the videos. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other Shopify team, which is Refresh, Spotlight, uh, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each trick, each code on my channel, I do test it on all of these teams. I do demonstration on down team because it's the most requested one and also it's the most used one. But I know not everyone uses the same team, not everyone uses down team, so I do actually try the codes behind the scenes so I don't bore people in the video. I do it behind the scenes and try it on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will. And I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you peace of mind so you would know that even, because you're gonna see me doing it on down team, you're gonna be like, oh, it's not working for the others. No, it is. So without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to customize the out of stock button, or badge, sorry, which is this one right here. And by the way, if you're interested in the a shadow effect with the rounded corners for the product or uh, the centered title for the product with centered pricing or anything you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything, the shiny effect on the buttons once you hover over them, every little thing, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store that you liked and you want to implement it on your store, then once it's here, that means it's already done and the video is already posted. So if you saw anything as I said, make sure to check out the channel. But in this video, I will show you how to customize this badge right here, the sold out badge on top of the product cards. And as I said, you will be able to change the shape, you will be able to change the background color as well as the text color. So we will keep this page open as always and we will get back to Shopify dashboard, do the trick, come back and see it in action. As you can see now, it's the default shape and color as well. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders of file, you might get dizzy or something. Just use the search bar at the top left corner and type in base. And again, I have to see this, <laughs> to say this in each one of my videos about base. So it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. Some rare cases, some custom made teams, they use custom.css, but it's mostly base.css or team.css or style.css. I know for mine it's base, so I'm gonna type in base here is base.css. Make sure it ends with CSS. So just one dollar for every time I said CSS, I'm gonna be rich. So <laughs> let's just scroll all the way down. Uh, make sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file. And in here we need to create some space because we need to paste in some code in here or we go into pasting some code but there is no space in order to create that space simply click front of the last thing then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we have a completely new space to paste in our code that will customize the sold out badge 
And in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, and get back to you with the code, then come back to this video. I'll be waiting here. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code. This one right here will do the trick for us. So as you can see, this, the first value is a border radius. Border radius is the corners. If you want to be rounded corners or sharp corners, or like a circle. You will see that in a second. This one, the background, which is obviously the background color. And yeah, it says red. You can actually, let me uh, access Google search engine, hex color picker. And this one, just try the color you want, then copy the hex code for it from here. As you can see this one, copy the hex code and paste it in here. Oh, what is this? An ad? Okay. This is not mine, by the way. I will change this website. So paste it in here. And I will do that just for demonstration. And same for the color. So background is background color and color is the text color. So select the whole code in here. Make sure to select the closing bracket as well. Right click, copy, get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the uh, file. I'm going to do red for the, for the red one. I'm going to do red for red. Okay, let's just copy this code in here by clicking on this button. We'll get back in here, replace the word red with our hex code. Because hex code, you can get precisely the, the, the color you want. And the white for the text color, I'm gonna keep it as white because I want it to be white. So uh, as well as the border radius, I'm gonna keep it as 10 and you will see what that will do. So let's just click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds. It should be saved, come on. Okay, save it now. I will get back Shopify store, reload the page and see the magic happens. Here we go. Check it out. As you can see, it's much rounded than the counterpart, which is cell badge, as you can see. Or actually less rounded, sorry. So as you can see, you can change the rounded corners and the background color as well as the text color. And uh, in red, it looks way better than similar to the cell badge because they can be confusing sometimes. Now, red is way better. It stands out from the cell badge. And that's how you customize the sold out badge on your Shopify store by using a custom code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.